Good morning or good afternoon class whenever you're taking a look at this. It's been a while since we looked at how to uh, do calculations in an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheets document. They have the same functions basically. So your goal for this project is to um, calculate the total numbers of entry by error um, based on data from 2019 which you can see over here on this page. Before we get into that there's a couple basics. So each one of these little boxes is called a cell and it's referenced by uh, its row, so this one's 14, and the column that it's in. This one is in, let's see if we can get rid of this, A, B, C, well, this one is in 14 uh, F. So it's referenced by its column F and its uh, row um, 14. So um, you want to fill in individual numbers in each of these boxes, and then you can do certain math operations. Uh, so there's a couple ways to do this. So we wanted to know the total um, number of people that traveled to the United States uh, in 2019. We could add up um, the ones that traveled from the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. So you can find these numbers uh, over here on this page. So total international uh, travels overseas, Mexico, and Canada. For quarter one of 2019, that was about 17 million people. And if you continue over, you can see quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. To make this shorter, I'm just going to fill in numbers. So let's say 45 people arrived in the first quarter, 56, 71, and then 23. How could I find the total? There's a couple ways to do this. Every time you make a calculation, though, the first thing you have to enter in is the equal sign. So then you could either add up them individually, so go, so click on that cell, then the plus sign, click on the next cell that you want to add up, hit the plus sign again, click on the next cell, plus sign, the next cell, and then hit enter, and that will give you your sum. There's a second way to do this. Uh, click on that cell again, hit the equal sign, and then type in SUM for sum. And then you can just drag and select all your data at once. Close parentheses. So this tells you that you are going to sum cell C3, so row 3, column C, all the way to uh, row 3, column F. Hit enter. We get the same number, 195. Subtraction works the same way. So to get total entries by error, uh, you need to um, you need to find out how many people entered from land from Canada and Mexico. So let's say the total number of people that entered from Canada in any uh, given year was 150. Uh, the people that entered by air that was 123. So how many people entered uh, Canada from land? So again, we need our equal sign to do a calculation. We could use the function minus and then select these two. Probably subtracting it the wrong way. So the easier way to do it is to hit your equal sign, click on your cell, minus sign on your keyboard, click your second cell, and then it does the math for you, 27. Let's do that again. 180 people come from Mexico, only uh, 32 came by land. How many came, or uh, how, only 32 came by air. How many came by land? 180 minus sign, 32. 148 came by um, land. So sum these two up. Let's say we're just going to put it here. That number plus that number is the total number. False statement. What did I do wrong? Ah, equal sign. Make sure you hit shift. So 175 people came from uh, Canada and Mexico by land. So in this case, total entries by air would be, so again, equal sign, 195 minus 175. Keep it in the wrong key. So 20 total entries by error. So again, every time you do a calculation, you need your equal sign 
and then you need to select your data somehow and then tell it what function you're going to do. Adding, subtracting, multiplication, division, averages, all can be done using a Google spreadsheet. So again, I just made up these numbers. You're going to get the actual numbers over here on your data. So I have uh, the quarters in yellow to help you find them. And I have uh, the places that you're going to look in green over here. So I want um, Canada Air, uh, Mexico Air, Western Europe, Japan, China. And if we go down, actually I haven't put those in yet, but we'll do uh, South Korea and Brazil in uh, green as well. So it should be really easy to find.